now let us also look at the relationship right what happened when we actually just took the weight from the right hand side from r0 and put it on l0 okay that's important for us to see so let us see what is happening here and we will look at the two's complement representation for both cases okay 3 kg on the lhs okay and this is the 3 kg on the rhs side okay yeah so this is a very very interesting uh, exercise that we have okay what we have done is we have simply on the on on this side right um, on the okay that's very nice on the left hand side i have considered the case when the 3 kg and 5 kg are placed on l0 on the right hand side i have considered the case when 3 kg and 5 kg are placed on r0 and then i am telling you the configuration of l1 r0 to r3 for both the cases right so what do we observe here so on the l left hand side okay if you consider this uh, this thing so what do we do very simple uh, so let's consider the 3 kg case okay i'll do that in red 3 kg lhs we got the representation like this 0 1 1 on the right hand side okay we got the representation like this 1 1 1 0 1 okay similarly for 5 kg lhs we got the representation 0 0 1 0 1 rhs we got the representation 1 1 0 1 1 okay so how did we go from this representation to this representation what did we do right if i asked you if i asked you the simple question saying look if i simply took the weight from the left hand side and brought it to the right hand side or from the right hand side to the left hand side or vice versa how will the representation of the two's complement number change is the simple question that we asked so what it appears right is very simple the first thing first thing is obvious the moment i change from the right hand side to the left hand side a negative number becoming positive or positive becoming negative the l1 value will simply flip so if i had a 1 kg earlier i have to remove it if it is not there i have to put it so l1 is simply going to be an inversion of each other right you just observe this guy in both cases they are just inversions of each other zero became one or if you take another representation the one will become zero okay i just took the case of uh, plus five minus five whatever right now the other bi uh, bits are slightly different what we see is uh, the 0 0 1 1 right so if i take uh, if i take this representation okay i have 0 0 0 1 1 okay if i simply flip all the bits i make all the zeros ones and all the one zeros that is wherever there is a 1 kg i am taking it off now wherever there is no weight i am putting 1 kg right all i have to do is do this 1 1 1 0 0 okay and then that is not sufficient because if i compare this number with this number all the bits are same except the least significant bit so i need to do something else i need to flip it and then add a 1 kg to it right so that is the key point so just keep this in mind we will come back to this later right and we will see what this mathematically means also right you need to essentially if you want to take the uh, positive number and see what 
or you want to take a negative two's complement number and see what is its positive equivalent, right? Then you need to do the following. You just take the number, right? Flip the bits, okay? That is make 0 to 1 and 1 to 0, right? And then add 1 to it. If I do this, I will effectively be able to get the positive value of the negative number or the negative value of the positive number. We will see a little later why this is true and mathematically why this is true, right? So you can, uh, I urge you at the end of this lecture for you to just think about, okay, if I move the block from the right hand side, from R0 to L0, what should be the configuration on R0 to R3 and L1 so that I get that number to match nicely, okay? So that's the, uh, you know, overview of this two's complement representation using the analogy, okay? So before we, uh, you know, wind up this analogy lecture, we can also look at, you know, what is the range of numbers that I can measure with this, okay? So let me again, not this, I need to copy the, uh, Okay, so what is the range of positive numbers that you can measure? What is the range of negative numbers that you can measure? Okay, and before that, we also need to see, you know, um, how many bits are needed. Okay, so first of all, in the uh, unsigned case, okay, uh, in the unsigned case, In the unsigned case, uh, I did not have this 16x guy, right? I had just R0 to R3, okay? And I could represent how many numbers with 4 bits, okay? R0 to R3. I could represent a range of 0 to 15. Because if I place no weight on R0 to R3, it is 0 kg, right? It would be balanced only by 0 kg. If I placed all the weights, you know, everything 1 kg on R0 to R3, I would get a value 15, right? This is for 4 bits. Now, signed 2's complement. So you see that in order to represent the same positive number 0 to 15, I still need 5 8s because I have something on L1. So like I said, the moment you want to represent a negative number, you need that one extra bit either to tell you the sign or to represent it like this in a more sophisticated manner, but you need that extra bit. So here I am now dealing with 5 bits. Right, I will maybe this one I'll rewrite as R3 to R0. Okay, so that it's easy. What are the five bits? It is L1, R3 to R0. Right, R0. So, on the positive side, we already know that if you want to represent a positive weight, that is the weight is sitting on L0, and I want to measure it, then L1 has to be 0. I cannot keep anything on L1, right? Therefore, the range I can measure here is still 0 to 15. But this time I needed 5 bits to tell me this information. I need to, you know, make sure L1 is 0. Otherwise, I will not be able to represent this correctly. Now, what about on the negative side? 
what is the maximum you know what is the worst case that i can measure on the negative side right so for that we will consider this example i am going to place the unknown object here on r0 of course we know that this is a negative number and therefore i have to place something here in order to get it to balance now any other weight i place on r0 r1 r2 r3 will only increase the weight on the right hand side i am looking at the worst case negative number right so if if it so happens that the balance is you know correct in this configuration that is r0 has some weight l1 has 1 kg r0 to r3 does not have any other 1 kg weight the blue weight then i know that that is the most negative number i can measure and that happens to be how much so this one this is on the positive side right on the negative side it is minus 16 i can go all the way to minus 16 and if i placed all you know on r0 r1 r2 and r3 if i placed all the 1 kg blocks okay let's look at that suppose i did this i placed four of them right then we know that this representation will be balanced only if the red block is 1 kg or minus 1 okay therefore the range of this representation in two's complement is minus 2 power 4 <coughs> to on the positive side it is 2 power 4 minus 1 okay and this guy is actually 0 to 2 power 4 minus 1 however the unsigned number case i was able to represent it with just four bits in the signed two's complement number i needed to represent uh, i needed five bits to represent the same positive range see effectively the Four bits is still representing sixteen states, two power four states, zero to two power four minus one. Five bits is still representing thirty-two states. That is minus two power four all the way to plus two power four minus one. Okay, so there is no problem there. However, the numbers positive and uh, this thing maybe I should call this two. Okay, here also I will call it two. Yeah, so that there is no confusion uh, between minus and the hyphen. right so like i said the negative 5 bit number right and signed 5 bit number is going to represent 32 states but it is going from minus 2 power 4 to plus 2 power 4 minus 1 minus 16 to plus 15 right so uh, that's the intuition behind two's complement uh, number representation so uh, in the next lecture we will look at the more formal mathematical representation right uh, maybe i will leave you with just that two's complement definition right so if i have an n bit two's complement number right if i have an n bit two's complement number okay which basically is b uh, n minus 1 b n minus 2 all the way to b 0 okay then the value i am going to represent this like this then the value of this in two's complement is minus b n minus 1 2 power n minus 1 plus summation 
j equals 0 to n minus 2 b j into 2 power j. This is the formal definition of the 2's complement representation. So, if b n minus 1, right, this is actually the most significant bit, right, that is equivalent to your L1 that came out uh, from earlier, right. Uh, oh, sorry, I should modify this. This is L1, by the way. Yeah, I thought I had made a mistake there. This is not L0, right. Yeah. So, the B n minus 1 is actually like your L1. If that is 0, it means it is a positive number. If B n minus 1 is 1, it means it is a negative number because that is the most, you know, the heaviest pulling down thing on the balance, right. So, keep this definition in mind. In the next class, we will again look at these numbers a little more closely and also look at how to operate on these numbers in order to do some basic arithmetic with it. Thank you.